Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. Today, this video is designated to new players who are a little confused about Tom Clancy's Division 2. Now, there are a lot of things in this game and you probably picked up the game uh, in, on a bargain or sale or maybe it came with some device that you bought and you finally installed it or you bought the game day one, didn't kind of get it and then you decided to give it a try. Here is an explanation of weapon talents and it's going to be, in my opinion, uh, <laughs> as detailed as I can remember. If you have any questions when I finish this video and you're still confused, leave them in the comment section. Uh, there'll be people happy to uh, oblige and help you to figure out some of the, you know, some of the aspects of this, you know, in the comment section and all that stuff. So let's look at weapon uh, talents and we'll talk about them extensively. I have a series of them. So there are weapon talents on basically three different weapon uh, classes. They're exotic uh, weapons. There are named weapons and then they're just the weapons <laughs> under that class. So here are three S LMGs. This is the Pestilence. LMG. This what this is a an LMG based on the I think it's the M60 heavy uh, damage, very low RPM, low fire, and then another um, LMG is the Carnage. It's based on uh, I think the MG5 variant, fast firing, moderate damage, and you know good magazine size as well too. The the Pestilence does have a good magazine size nonetheless. But what makes the carnage, you know, and then let's just look at the Negev, the, the IWI Negev, also the same weapon family, basically. I mean, look at it. Look at it. You know, they have pretty much the same RPM. The reason this has a 35 mag uh, mag is because I put a 35 mag mag on it, uh, a pouch, basically a belt belt. For, there it is. 35 rounds. OK, so what makes and what sets these three LMGs apart from one another? The named variant of the car of this uh, Negev actually comes with a perfect talent. Now, this is probably not always going to be the case once the title update 11 drops, because there is a weapon that actually has a core perfect attribute that always rolls with it and doesn't have a perfect talent. It's going to be called the mop. So that weapon basically stands out as an exception. Wanted to make sure I put that in this video before you know, down the line, this video becomes irrelevant because of that one small detail. So maybe there might be other weapons that are like that. And Carnage has a perfect sadist. It says deal 25% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. After three kills, it applies bleed to the next enemy that you hit. So that's what's really cool with, with the perfect sadist. The regular sadist talent is not as strong and will have about 5% less uh, effect, uh, efficiency on, um, on its... Um, own paradigm. An example that I can give you is let's say in sync. In sync talent says you get 15% skill damage for five seconds, 15% weapon damage for five seconds, depending on if your skill or weapon is hitting an enemy, and then you double if both of them are hitting an enemy. But if you look at the perfect version, it's 20%, which is basically on a named item. Okay, so that's what Carnage is doing when it's using the sadist talent, but it's using the perfect version. Now, the regular version will then basically have whatever talents that you are able to either roll or recalibrate on them. Um, and this particular one has got fast hands. And this one, I need to go actually make sure that the damage to target out of cover is maxed out because I got this one with fast hands. It got it had everything. Weapon swap speed, beautiful, well rolled. Um, I mean, it's not the greatest, but I like the way I have it. I can swap to other weapons very quickly. And so you see already the difference between these. Now, another aspect, too, is then exotics. Exotics will also have their exotic weapon talent. It's unique to only that, um, you know, exotic weapon itself. So this is the uh, Pestilence. It's one of the best exotics in this game because it's not only good in regard to gameplay, it's much easier to get than a lot of the other exotics, say, perhaps the Bullet King. If you haven't gotten a Pestilence, you got to ask people, okay? Find a way to chat, turn your mic on and say, hey, did anybody get a Pestilence? And somebody will be happy to drop one for you. I guarantee it that people do not need, uh, you know, their third or twelfth pestilence in this game. Okay. Now the talent is the plague of the outcast. This gives this tells you hits apply a debuff dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. And whenever an enemy dies with the debuff, all stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy 25 meters. This is really what makes um, the talent in this game very unique. The way that they work, the way they stand out, and the way that they're different. And you can expect to see this variation 
from basically all the different weapon types, weapon classes, and you know, they're in, in many cases, some weapon types and weapon variants will have their own named counterparts, uh, which will give them something unique. Uh, and then even in the exotic aspects, they also have the way that they function, which will give them their own unique aspects as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here into base of operations, and I'm actually going to show you how these talents do work and how you can use them. So let's use the pestilence first and let's basically figure out uh, or showcase what it's actually going to do with all the descriptions. So if you can't figure out the language of how the talent description is written, just come to the base of the operation, uh, base of operations and fire the weapon. OK, so I hit this enemy. And if you notice, there is already a little um, target on there, a little formed toxic thing on their head. When this enemy dies, uh, once I hit them, they're already starting to tick. And once that enemy dies, boom, that spreads to every single other enemy around. If you look at it, that toxicity target. Now, don't worry about the bleed and the other stuff. It's based on my gear set. It's just nasty. <laughs> like how much it's ticking these enemies for. Uh, but pay attention just to the pestilence uh, uh, symbol that you're seeing. See how much spread I got from every enemy that's dying? That's what the pestilence does. All that damage that I primed the first MPC with, I have now reaped it in, um, you know, weapon damage. So check this out. Check this out. The stacks of uh, hits apply a debuff dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this buff, all stacks are transferred to nearby enemies within 25 meters. The pestilence is what I call whatever you sow, you reap type of weapon. So you basically prime one enemy, just light them up. And, you know, hope that somebody else, you know, takes them out. Doesn't matter who takes them out. It, it could be you. It could be another person on your team. But it will just spread that damage over to the course of the nearest enemies around that enemy that's uh, that, that was primed and then died. So that's pretty much how this weapon talent works. It's really, really cool. Like, it, it doesn't, it's not, it's not an ordinary weapon talent. Look at it. It just spread um, you know, to the to the people on all these other folk as well. But with my other stuff is why they're dying really fast. It's not necessarily only the pestilence that's killing them. Now, let's throw on the perfect sadist. You remember I showed you that Carnage had perfect sadist, right? Which is basically an extra 20, uh, how many more percent? 25% damage to bleeding enemies. So let me hit an enemy NPC. And I'm doing 54,000 base damage. This is not a crit. A crit uh, will be more. And it's not headshot. Headshot will be a little bit more. LMGs usually have a little bit more headshot damage. About 96k, right? So I'm doing about 54 grand. So now let me get these enemies to bleed. If I hit them with my... Uh, boom. Artillery turret. Boom. I am now doing 78,000 in my damage uh, numbers to these enemy NPCs. I just got this. I just got that sadist... Uh, perfect sadist procced on them because they had that status effect and were bleeding. Okay. And so that's the benefit of actually learning your weapons and knowing your weapon talents and using them in that aspect. Now, I could go into much more complex detail with, uh, you know, in sync, but this is my best uh, application to make this a short video by explaining weapon talents from that perspective. Now, you would have to do the other experimentation yourself. The Division 2 is about experimenting with all of this stuff. Uh, I could show you builds. I could show you ideas. But at the end of the day, what really suits your play style? That's the question that you're going to be working on answering as you start to farm, as you start to attain these items, as you start to build and put you know, you know, things together in order for you to just enjoy the game. And trust me, they are dozens and dozens of variations within which you can build using just weapon talents and then letting your entire gear go from there or building your entire gear and then having a weapon talent that comes in to complement it and helps you you know just deal a lot of damage all right that's pretty much it for me thank you so much for your time and audience i appreciate you guys a lot i hope this video was helpful for you like i said if you have any questions leave them in the comment section i'll do my best to catch them if i can or if somebody else in the community catches them, they can basically help answer them. Peace out.